Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and in today's video we're going to be replacing a standard outlet with a GFCI outlet. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. In today's video, we're gonna be replacing a standard outlet or receptacle with a GFCI outlet. Here is the existing receptacle that we are going to be replacing. It currently does not have a cover. This is a very simple process and the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is turn off the power. I have one lead on my multimeter on the ground pin and then we're gonna to go to one of the hotlines. This would definitely be the professional way to do it by checking with a multimeter. As you can see, we have 123 volts. What we're going to want to do is go over to the breaker panel, find the correct breaker, and then double check that we lost the power so we can work safely. Another way to do this is by plugging in something like this, a lamp. So as you can see, the lamp is on, meaning that we do have power. Then you can turn off your breaker that you believe is the right one. And if you come back and the lamp is off, that means that the power was turned off by the breaker and you are now safe to work. As you can see, the lamp is no longer on, meaning that we turned off the correct breaker and we have no power going to this receptacle, so we're safe to work. We also have a zero volt reading across the receptacle. If we had a cover, there will be two flathead screws right over there, but we do not. So we are here at the bare receptacle and we're gonna take off two screws. One here and one here. Once the screws are loose, we can just simply pull out the receptacle. We have tape around the receptacle, which is good. Let's just go ahead and remove that. If we look closely at our receptacle, on this side we have a black wire going to it. And on this side we have a white wire going to it. You can take a screwdriver, either a flathead or a Phillips, and unscrew the wire and this comes right off. Here's the receptacle I just pulled out. Here are the two sides to them. If you notice, the screws have different colors. And that is because your white wire, which is typically your neutral, and your black wire, which is typically your hotline, they have a designated area where they must be installed. Here's one end, here's the other end, but then you notice a third screw. This down here is typically colored green, and that's gonna be your ground. And then here we have our two sides. If you notice that the screws have a different color, and that is because they want you to put your hot wire in a specific place and your neutral in a specific place. If we look closely here, it says the white wire is gonna be on the same side as your green wire. So this right here, this is gonna be your neutral, your white wire, here's the ground. And over here is gonna be your hot wire, and it says right there, black. So, so here's our GFI outlet, definitely bulkier. You notice one side comes covered up. You're gonna to want to read your special instructions for that when you're trying to do different setups. We're just gonna use this as a basic setup. This green wire is gonna be your ground if you have one connected to there. And then we have, once again, two sides. And in the back here, it does have a little diagram. So your white wire, which is gonna be your neutral, goes to here. And then this side, is your hot wire so the black wire goes here as you can see the screw color is different on them simply just going to follow the diagram so the white is here so neutral on this side hot on this side white on this side black on this side in this case we have colored wires one black one white so it's pretty obvious which one is which your white is going to be your neutral and your black is going to be your hotline but if you're in a case where they aren't colored and they actually are the same, just have a black insulation, which many old buildings do, and you need to find out which one is which, this is the test you're gonna run. You're gonna take your multimeter and put it on volts AC. Just so you know, between these two, 
you should have 120 volts. If you're trying to find out which one is the hotline, you're going to take your meter and put it on one lead and then touch it to ground. In this case, we're going to have a zero reading because it is your neutral. If you go on your hotline to ground, we're going to have 120 volts on this side and that's how we know this is going to be your hot. So the leg that gives you 120 to ground is going to be your hotline. The leg that gives you zero is going to be your neutral. Let's see if I get a shot of this for you. So I have one already grounded. So between this, we have nothing. So that's our neutral. Between this one to ground, we have our 120. So that's going to be our hotline. The hotline is the one that's going to give you voltage between that wire and ground. Just simply follow the diagram, put the hot wire slash black wire to where they wanted it, and the same for the neutral slash white wire. From here I'm going to take some electrical tape and cover the conductors. Here I put tape all the way around. From here we can just take the receptacle and put it back into place. There's just two screws to tighten down. And that's it. We are now safely secured into the wall and from here what we have been in need of, a cover plate. This is by far my favorite cover plate. This is made by Hampton Bay and it's a mirror finish. From here it is super simple. Just put this in place and then put in your two screws. That honestly made a huge difference. It definitely looks really cool. You can see the reflection. From here we can turn our breaker back on and we should get a light in the bottom right hand corner. There we have it. We have a light. I want to disconnect my light so you can see it. And there you have it. The finished product of how you install a GFCI outlet. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.